Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. In today's video, I'm going to demonstrate two new features that are in the current version of Photoshop. More accurately, they're in the current version of Camera Raw. One of these new features is in early access. That means it's available to everyone, but Adobe is still tweaking it. The second new feature is available as a technology preview. In order to use it, you'll need to turn technology previews on in preferences, and I'll show you how to do that. The important thing to know is that both of these new features are in the current version of Camera Raw, and they're not exclusive to the beta version. So make sure that you update Photoshop and Camera Raw so that you're using Camera Raw version 17.5. Now, this first new feature has to do with spots. As you look at this image, you'll notice there's a bunch of spots up in the sky. These aren't really sensor spots. What these are are water drops. It was a very windy day. The wind was blowing directly at my camera, and some water splashed up onto the ND filter. Now, in the past, to remove these spots, I would go to the Remove tool, and I would probably use the actual Remove tool over the Heal tool or the Clone tool, and I would have Generative AI off, and I would have Detect Objects off, and then I'd get the correct size brush, and then I'd manually go through these one by one, clicking on them to remove them. And to make sure that I catch every single one, I would often go down here to visualize spots, turn that on, I'd get this kind of odd black and white image, and then I'd go to the slider and move it to the right to make it more sensitive to make sure that I'm seeing every single spot. This is very time consuming. Now I could get rid of all of these spots with a single click. Down here in this bottom section called distraction removal at the very bottom is dust. Roll that open. There's a single checkbox apply. Click on that and it will say how long? 10 seconds. It took a lot less than 10 seconds. It removed every single spot. Now you'll notice if I hover over the image, I have a little circle over each of the spots that were moved. If I take my cursor off the image, they clear so I could see the actual image. Also, I could see a before after by clicking on this little eyeball and holding in the left mouse button. There's before and there's after. Now I mentioned that this is in early access. That means it's available to everyone, but Adobe is still tweaking it. And if something acted weird when you used it, you could provide feedback to Adobe by clicking this link right here, provide feedback. But overall, I found it to work very well. As a matter of fact, I have this image here and at first glance, I don't see any spots at all. And if I go over to the remove tool and I click on visualize spots and I like crank this up, I notice there is a spot here, right there. And there might be one there even. And, you know, I really didn't see it otherwise. And if I zoom in by hitting command plus on my Mac a few times, and then I kind of scroll down, oops, do I scroll down? To scroll down, I have to hold in space bar and then go over here and I could see right there, there's a little spot. And if I zoom in a little more, maybe, you can see there's a spot there. What that probably is, is a bird way off in the distance. And this has happened to me in the past where I've had an image that I thought didn't have any sensor spots or blurry birds or anything in it. And I printed it and I made a very large print. And when I did, those things jump out like they're so obvious. It looks like a speck of dirt in the sky and it's infuriating. <laughs> well, now let me hit command zero to fit this to screen. I don't have to go through this, you know, this time consuming method of trying to find these things. I could just go to dust, roll that open, click apply, and you'll notice it will find it and look at it found it. I mean, that's just fantastic. So I really like this new feature, and I think if you do print your own images and you're often printing larger prints, you know what I'm talking about. When you have these birds way off in the distance that you don't notice, when you do print, it looks like a, just a little glob of dirt in the sky, and it's so annoying. Now I think this will help a lot. Now I mentioned that this second new feature is a technology preview. 
And actually, it's available in Photoshop. It's been available in Photoshop for some time. But now, with the technology preview, it's also available in Camera Raw. And why I think this is significant is because often, new features show up in Camera Raw, and then some time down the line, they're added to Lightroom. So I think the dust removal feature and this new feature I'm going to show you in a moment will be in Lightroom someday. And it's Generative Expand. And as I mentioned, it's available in Photoshop right now. But now you could use it in uh, Camera Raw. Now let me just show you something real quick. Let's go to Lightroom Classic. I have the same exact image. And if I go to the Crop Tool, if I want to make this larger, meaning make the canvas larger, I can't do that. So if I try to drag any of these handles out, it just goes so far. Well, now I'm able to do that, do this with Generative Expand in Camera Raw. And again, I think that this will be coming to Lightroom someday. Now, you have to turn it on in Preferences. To do that, from within Camera Raw, go to this little gear. Then at the bottom, Technology Previews. And then check New AI Features. And it says right here, Enables the Generative Expand feature. And for some reason, it's not available in China Mainland. Um, and it says the changes will take effect after restarting Photoshop. So you need to go here, check this box, click OK, close everything down, then open your image back up and you'll be able to use it. To use it, as I did in Lightroom, I go to the Crop tool. And to, as you know, by default, you won't be able still to do it. So what you need to do then is to enable Expand by clicking this checkbox right here. And when you do that, then you could come out. Now, what I want to do is I probably want to go to a 4 by 5 let's say, and I'm going to make it vertical by uh, tapping the X key on my keyboard. And then I'm going to come in, and we're going to expand it this way a little, and this way a little, like that. I think that's pretty good. Now we have all these blank pixels, and that's where this generative expand option comes in. What we do is we go to this section right here, and we click on Generate. And if you're familiar with how it works in Photoshop, it works the same way here. It actually will come up with three different variations. And you could choose one of the variations. Now this one looks pretty good. and Or you could just page through them. Like here's the second variation. Here's the third variation. They all look pretty good to me, uh, but maybe the just the first one looked more natural. And we then, when you like it, you could clip, click Keep. If you didn't like any of the three, you could click on Generate again, and it will give you three more options. But I like it, so I'll click Keep. And then we could go off the Crop Tool. Now I just made this vertical image a horizontal image by using Generative Expand. Now... Again, it's a technology preview. It's You'd have to turn it on, but it is in the current version of Camera Raw, version 17.5. And as I mentioned, I think these new features will show up in Lightroom someday. I don't know when, but I think they will. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.